Christ. This is another day. Jehovah Jireh, the mighty king, he has given us a break. So beloved, let us pray. Our Lord and our king, our savior, the king of glory, this is another day that your children are still alive. It is only your mercy that you have done this. Mighty Jehovah, we give you all your glory. You are a merciful father. So father, take all your glory and honor for giving us a life and we are still here. Your children around the whole world. It is only your mercy that you have done it. You are a compassionate God. Thank you, covenanted God. Thank you, merciful God, for giving us a bread. We give you all your honor and a praise for giving us a life. You are the owner of life. Thank you, thank you, thank you, covenanted God. May your name be praised. And I pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, what a king, what a Lord that we serve. Today too, he has given us a word. And the title of the message is Jesus Christ is our deliverer. He alone can deliver you and I. So without wasting time, let us go to the scriptures. We start with Isaiah 38 and the verse is 17. Let us hear the word, hallelujah. Indeed, it was for my own peace that I had a great bitterness, but you have lovely delivered my soul from the pit of corruption. For you have cast all my sin behind your back. Beloved, it is only Christ who can deliver you and I. This was Isaiah, the prophet, talking to Almighty God. Beloved, Isaiah is no more around. It is you and I. We have to come and tell God, Father, we have sinned. We all fall short. So Isaiah was telling God, what about you and I? Isaiah is no more around. It is up to you and I to come before God and to confess our sin. Today is the day for repentance. So the soul needs to be delivered. Hallelujah. We continue with the scriptures. We go to Matthew 1, 21. Let us hear the word of God. With God, all things are possible. Matthew 121 says, and she will bring a forth a son and you shall call his name Jesus. He will save his people from all sin. It is only Christ that can save you and I from every sin. So this afternoon, Matthew 1, 21 is telling us, there will be a child that will come, a son that will come to save mankind. We all fall short. It is only Christ who can deliver our soul. Our soul needs to be delivered. So this afternoon, we have to depend upon him. The savior is our Lord Jesus Christ. The king is our Lord Jesus Christ. The covenanted God is our Lord Jesus Christ. We have to depend upon him. And without him, we are not going anywhere. It is only him alone that delivered the soul. So this afternoon, we need to depend upon him. Hallelujah. We all fall short for the glory of God. So beloved, let us depend upon him. We continue. That is John 5. And the verse is 24. Let us hear his word. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Most assuredly, I say unto you, he who hear my word and believe in him 
who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death unto life. It is only him. The more you know him, the more you fellowship, the more you obey him. He is telling you that means his word will dwell upon you. So it is only Christ that we have to depend. And the Holy Spirit in you will teach us and let us understand the word of God. Hallelujah. So this afternoon, I have a question. Do you fellowship with the Holy Spirit? Do you know him? Do you talk to him? Do you praise him? Do you worship him? It is time we have to fellowship with our maker. Without Christ, everything is useless. Without Christ, we cannot make it. Without Christ, we are not going anywhere. So this afternoon, it is a choice to serve Christ. He has given us our own free will. So beloved, it is up to you to make up your mind and serve the Lord and be with him. So without Christ, everything is useless. Hallelujah. We continue. Second Corinthians and the verse, Second Corinthians 1 and the verse is 10. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Who deliver us from so great death and does deliver us in whom we trust that he will still deliver us. Beloved, we were all dead. We sin against God, but the mercy of God, it is only Christ who has delivered us. And he said he will continue to deliver us. So beloved, let us depend upon him. And when we are delivered, we don't have to go there and sin anymore. We don't have to do that like a dog who vomits and go back and swallow his vomit. It isn't good. When we are delivered, let us run away from our sinful way so that God who has delivered us, we will stay with him. And the more we know him and the more we can fellowship with him. Hallelujah. Beloved, we serve a mighty God, the one who knows us, our inside and outside. So beloved, let us serve God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. We continue with Corinthians, the book of Corinthians 2, and the verses 13. Let us hear his word. And you being dead in your trespasses and uncircumcised, Session of, of the flesh. He has made a life together with him, having given you all the trespasses. It is only Christ who can save us from all our iniquities, from all ungodly. Beloved, we are for sure. So this afternoon, he is telling us that our sin, it is only Christ that can deliver us. Beloved, without Christ, we cannot make it. So this afternoon, the word has come. Do you want to fellowship with your maker? It is a choice to choose to serve Christ. He is a faithful father. He is a faithful king. So this afternoon, where do you stand? Do you want to be with him? Do you want to serve him? the rest of your life it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of god so this afternoon his message has come you know where you are you know where you stand i know where i stand so it is a time to choose whether you want to walk with god or it is up to you we give him all his glory for giving us a message that this is the moment. Tomorrow it will be too late. This is the hour. This is the second to accept Christ, to be your personal savior. And when you call upon him, he will answer you. We give him all his glory 
for giving us a message. What a lovely father. What a great king. Thank you, covenanted God. Thank you, merciful God, for allowing us today to hear your word. We give you all your glory and honor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spirit of the living God, I take this opportunity. May you bless your end time prophet, the one that you have called, the one that you have ordained, him, the wife, and the children, and also his viewers. Father, may you bless them. They have desire. May you give it unto them. And Father, they thank you for giving them the life that they will come and listen to the end time prophet. May your name be praised. Thank you, covenanted God. Thank you, merciful God, for giving us a word. In your mighty name, your word has come. Amen.